Hey folks, today we are taking a look at Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Cyberverse Legion class Arachnid, or Arachnid, with her Nova Stinger bow, which is the same thing that comes with the Bumblebee figure. Um, boxes, typical Legion class box. Strength and endurance are very low. A lot of other things are pretty low, but she's super smart. So let's uh, open her up and pray that she's better than the deluxe class version of the figure. So here we have Arachnid out of her container, and well, yeah, uh, she's tiny. She's very, very tiny, and she's very, very thin. So I really can't say too many positive things about this because it's not much better or different than the deluxe class figure. Posability is shoulders, legs, is a little bit of posing or movement in the legs, but that has to do with the transformation. She's back heavy thanks to this uh, helicopter backpack and the and the rotors. She doesn't look that great. She's at, I, let me rephrase that. She looks okay and she can stand up. Uh, those are the biggest positives. Forget holding the gun <clears throat> because once you have her wield the gun, she be which. She does have trouble doing, which is almost impossible to get her to actually hold it. You can't actually really put the arm forward because the ball joint doesn't want to allow you to do that. So you're going to have to plug it into her shoulder, which causes the shoulder to collapse and her to fall over. So, yeah. Um, so far, not so great. The transformation for Arachnid is dumb. But I understand why they did it this way. So what we're going to do first is her head is actually pegged into the body. So we need to push the head up into the nose cone like that. Then take the nose cone and lean it back. And then we can fold the nose cone down and have the very bottom of the nose cone just barely touching the chest of the figure. Then take the arms, fold them so that the outer side or the outer peg of the arm is pointed forward and then we'll push that up into the body. And sometimes it wants to go, sometimes it doesn't want to go. So we'll, we'll do the same thing over here. Just fold that up into the body. Just kind of force it into place and force it underneath and behind, underneath the back of the rotor and behind the legs. Then these plastic pieces will fold down over the arms and then you just kind of line the legs up with the rest of the body and put, push them together, fold the nose cone back down, and just get everything lined up into place. And there we go. And this is a... Actually, this doesn't look bad, but it's very tiny. I mean, it's longer than the standard Cyber vs. Legion figure, but it's much thinner than any of the other vehicle modes. So, eh, it's all right. But what really makes the thing look stupid is attaching the wep a weapon. So there's a peg hole underneath the canopy and peg holes on the sides. So we can either put the weapon forward like this to make it look absolutely silly, or we can make it, peg it in like this and make it completely um, off center like that because the weapon bends. So now if you have Bumblebee's weapon, you can add two crossbows to Arachnid. Her rotors won't work, but you can add two crossbows like that. Ah, for some reason, these pegs holes are a little tough to peg into. See, things just keep falling off of her. So you could do that. <laughs> or you could do what I like to do. Take both of them. Put them out like, put them forward like this. And now she's flying with axes. <laughs> so overall, this figure isn't very good. It's better than the deluxe class version, which is not saying much. But I would not recommend this one. 
I would say this is a pass. If you're a fan of Arachnid, maybe you'd want to get it. But otherwise, just, just no. Just no. Come on, Hasbro. Can't this figure have a decent... Or can't this character have a decent figure? <laughs>